sort of. Merry Vlogmas, or Happy Vlogmas, or how does Monica usually do these? I'm here, and the reason why I'm here is because Monica is now sick. So today I had to fill in for her over the past couple of nights. I've been taking care of some of the sick kids when I can. But tonight is my first call, and it actually wasn't even because there were sick kids. It was actually because of my blue healer. Let me turn the light on and tell you what's going on. It's 2.45 in the morning, and this is my first call. Getting woke up by one of my dogs out here. Uh, this is Titus, my cattle dog, and he's a good dog. He does what he's supposed to do. He works hard, and we take care of cattle together, right, buddy? You do a good job? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do a good job. Then this one back here, eating, I can't even get her on the camera to act correct. She's the one that wakes me up now. She is good for something. And that, okay, lay down now. Now you're bothering me. Anyway, this one back here that I can't even get to turn and look at the camera correctly because she does what she wants when she wants. And that's the problem with her. Hey, can you stop eating for a second, please? It's 2.45. I don't have time for this. Anyway, she usually wakes up. And she goes outside because she either needs to go pee or because there's an animal outside that she wants to go chase. So she is good at keeping things safe outside because if she smells something, she goes after it and she's fast. So anyway, first call. Let me go check on everybody while I'm up because I know everybody was doing good as far as fevers last night, but... Uh, still not out of the woodworks, so. Okay. Apparently she's starving. Okay. Let's go check everybody. So there's my sick, one of my sick patients. I am, as she just said, dating her. <laughs> dating? <laughs> Vlogmas day eight. Anyway, so I was just checking on her. I couldn't even make this up if I tried. It's now about 3.15. Mm -hmm. I did my rounds, checked on everybody had one that was fevered. Outside of that, we were good. And then, as I was getting ready to just pack it up and go back to bed, of course, after being questioned a few times to see what was going on, <laughs> I had a little pitter-patter of footsteps coming down. And it's Mr. Scarlet Fever himself <laughs> is now vomiting again. So, we don't have one, two, three four patients now we have five it's going to be a long morning there's only three standing still let's go well as you saw I had to spend the night up and down with the kids with Monica trying to help them take care of them Still lots of headaches and fevers and things like that. I had to take the day off of work so I could take care of them. But also, we've got all the animals to do still. 
And that's the thing with farm life that the work doesn't stop. Somebody's got to do it. So when all the workers are sick, then you got to get, get it done yourself. So the animals hear me coming out here. The ducks and chickens back here and cows across the way, the pigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on them. I'm not gonna be able to record myself doing all this because I don't have time to, to fiddle with that. I still have work to do for my actual job, checking emails and responding to people. So it's a lot to do, but we'll get it done one way or another. Let's get it done. Let's go. You know, sometimes you just got to take time and really enjoy what you have. And I got to say that the cows are always my favorite. But right now, these turkeys are a close second. They're really cool. When they fluff out, <laughs> just their coloring. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Inside and everybody is pretty quiet, resting comfortably. And so one of the cool things about living on the farm is you get lots of eggs. And unfortunately, sometimes these eggs go bad. Look at that it's a beautiful turkey egg. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out which eggs while I have a few minutes. Which, which carton is holding the rotten egg? Because it stinks bad. Look at the difference of this, by the way. Turkey egg, duck egg. And a lot of people don't know, unless you live on a farm, of course, you can actually leave your eggs on the counter. You don't need to put them in the fridge. That one's empty. All right, so here's the eggs. Let's see what we got here. I'm just kind of looking at them, really, and smelling them, and they kind of all smell gross, like rotten eggs, so I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it here. Let's just see. Bug. I can smell it like, oh, there we go. You see it wet. Can you see the juices? <laughs> I think I was gonna go ahead and get rid of this whole carton because it, it just, just smelling it stinks, like the whole casing of it, so. Well, Eric already started the vlog for today, and day eight for me is not going so great. <laughs> it's better than day seven so far. Um, I My headache is definitely better than it was overnight. Uh, it was really bad overnight, I and mean, it was pretty intense um, to the point where I could feel my like heartbeat in my eyes. It was to the point where my, my jawline, my teeth were actually hurting from the pain in my head. It was so bad um I was just getting sick my body was aching I was thankfully able to use some I used a heat pack to help with some of the achiness and I was finally able to fall asleep for about three hours at like 3 a.m but yeah that was a rough night um I've been sleeping most on and off today I was able to get up and walk around a little bit and Eric stayed home and has been taking care of all of us because there's a lot of us sick. Everybody that's here is still sick. And um, they're either sick with a headache, with a fever, or just complete lethargicness. The the youngest who started the flu A um, on Monday, we went to the doctors for him. He, um, he was doing better for a little bit. And then yesterday, he just slept all day. And he has been miserable. So um, he's not 
he's not fevered. He's just got a cough. Everybody has a cough except for me. I'm imagining that'll be next. So anyway, that's how day eight is going of Vlogmas. Not too great. But you know what? Let's get it out of the way now before we have Christmas, before we have our visitors from out of town. And get rid of the fever blister before I get to take all these pictures and be with all my friends. I gotta look at the positive, right? Always look at the positive. God's plan is better than ours, so. Yeah, time to take a nap again. I've been using a rice pack for my eyes and then I've been listening to podcasts on a very low volume and it helps me get out of my head because when I have the headache and it hurts so bad, I start thinking all these things like I'm having a heart attack, like I'm having a stroke, like my blood pressure is going to explode my brain. I'm like, I'm, I mean, I get really bad anxiety. <laughs> <coughs> so it's been nice to listen to a podcast and to think about other things. So, yeah. All right. Back to rest. All right. So I am in the dining room. Uh, Eric went out to go pick up my... 14 year old and some of the kids are sitting up, they're drinking. And I thought this would be a good time to show you kind of what we're doing to try to combat and to fight off some of these um, issues that we're having with the flu. Um, we definitely know that my six year old had flu A on Monday and then all of us started going down one by one. <clears throat> so that's what we're thinking we all have. So this is how we're treating it. This is what the doctor actually told us to do. Um, most of these remedies she, um, recommended. And so this is what we're doing here in our house. So this is not for everybody. This is just something we're doing. And it is seeming to um, help um, each kid a little differently. And it's helping me. I know that for sure. It's helping me. So let's, uh, let me show you what we're doing. Okay. So <clears throat> before we got sick, and even now, we're actually taking some uh, elderberry liquid drops. Some of the kids don't like to take the regular elderberries. So I've started doing these and I've been doing these with the kids for a while now too. Um, these are great for just overall immune boost and health. Um, it seems like it's helped a few kids maybe not get as sick. We've also been doing the respiratory health. These are liquid drops you just drop in the mouth. And I've been using these for the kids and for myself. And I am so far the only one without a really nasty chestal, chesty cough. Um, <clears throat> also for the cough, we've been using um, this chestal honey. They come in a liquid as well as these little capsules. These capsules are great. Um, this is the cough and mucus chestal honey. And what you do is you just basically turn the, you turn this base right here. And when you do, they come out and you can actually take them um, a couple at a time. You basically take a few pellets and you put it in your mouth under your tongue. That's where it's absorbed the best. And these have really helped. Also, we're taking the Osacillococcinium, whatever it's called. This has been a huge help for me. Um, <clears throat> the kids have been taking it as well. I have actually, last night when I was having that headache, I took this every I want to say 15, 20 minutes for an hour and a half or so. And then after that, I started taking it again. Um, I started dosing it every hour or so. And this has really helped me. Um, I wasn't dosing the whole thing. This whole thing is filled. You can hear it. You can't hear it. But the whole thing is filled up with little pellets. I was only taking a third of a container each time. Um, and you don't really need the entire container. <clears throat> Also, we were rolling lavender, frankincense, peppermint, and digestin, which is in the other room still. We were rolling these on the spine, the feet, and the peppermint and lavender, sometimes lavender, mainly peppermint. We are rolling on our foreheads. Um, the peppermint will help with fever. Um, rolling it on your feet as well is actually a great place to help as well as your spine. Okay, and then we were also, sorry, Eric came in from picking up my son. We also are dosing belladonna. This is great for fevers with um, throbbing headaches, um, aconitum, napal, I don't know, I call it aconite, aconite, whatever it is. I've been dosing these. Also, this is the gelsum. I've been dosing that. This is also for, um, headaches and it can work with the flu. And then I've been using this lympho rub on my lymph nodes. I have rolled it on, rolled it on the kids the other day too. And it seems to have um, helped with the lymph nodes. That really isn't an issue with flu as much, but you just can't, you just can't uh, be too, be too sure, you know, just do all the things. One thing, if you're dealing with homeopathy, make sure you don't mix your homeopathy with strong scents. Be mindful of that. 
We're also doing electrolytes. This is one of the ones that Eric likes and the kids were drinking it. Everybody's been drinking this except for me because I'm a snob. And um, <clears throat> yeah, the electrolytes really have helped, I think, uh, with the headaches as well. This is a, um, a huge help. We've been keeping track of fevers with this. I'm not a big fever person when I don't, I don't really need to know, but sometimes it's good to know who's fevered or not. And then we have a pulse oximeter and we've been using that. Jacob, put your finger on that. <clears throat> Here, we've been using the pulse ox to measure um, pulse ox and heart rate. And that's a huge help because I do have an asthmatic son that's doing this right now. And he's got a nasty cough. So it's really nice to be able to see his pulse, um, to see his heart rate and his pulse ox and to see what we're dealing with when it comes to him. Um, and we've been monitoring that so that we can be aware um, in case we need to get him some help in case he needs to use his emergency inhaler or some nebulizer treatment. So thanks, Jacob. So for the most part, this is what we've been doing. I'm trying to think of anything else we've been using, but I think this is it, plus a lot of rest. Um, <clears throat> I also use a rice pack for my eyes and a cool wash rag for my head. That was really helping. Um, I did take some Tylenol this morning about 2 a.m., when I was feeling to the point where my teeth were actually hurting. So that did help bring the headache down to a manageable state. And I'm here now showing you all the things we've been using. Well, I figured I would go ahead and finish up the video. It's only two o'clock, but I'm not really sure a whole lot more is gonna to happen today. All the excitement of finding out people are sick or taking them to the doctor or seeing what they have is over. I think we've pretty much nailed it, that it's all flu A stuff. And I think pretty much everybody's already gotten it, at least a little bit of it somewhere along the way. But I do wanna say I have a couple of observations. One, thank you, Monica and moms that are out there that take care of the kids because there's nothing like a mother's touch. I'm gonna be honest with you. Monica always does a great job taking care of us and it's a lot of work, especially being part of a big family. And you know, when you have multiple people sick, I mean, you're you're like a, a nurse or a doctor doing rounds at the hospital. And I mean, you start at one and by the time you get finished, you got another one you gotta get back to. So, so thank you, moms. And anybody watching this, tell your mom thank you. Another observation I've made is some of the worst patients are moms. Am I right? Guys out there listening, leave it in the comments if you if you agree with that. My goodness. Everything that Monica asked me to do, I did. She says I'm hard-headed, but I did it. Everything I've asked her to do, she's like, nah, I don't want to. And I get it. When you're sick, you don't want to do certain things, but I listened. Maybe she should listen. So moms, think about that. Think about being better patients. And another observation is I'm not a great vlogger, I don't think. I don't really care for vlogging. It's not really my forte, but this was important to Monica and by golly, I wanted to do it for her and make sure that, that I was serving her as well. She does so much for us, I wanna make sure I'm doing for her. And so this was important for her. And so here we are vlogmas I'm vlogging hmm. so tomorrow I'll be back or Monica will be back I don't know yet but I will say this has been a tough day uh, even though it's only 2 o'clock I've been up since about 2 o'clock or, or, or whatever but I don't even know woke up by the dogs and off I went since then it's been up and down and uh you know, had to miss work today. So I've been working from home on the phone and and emails and things like that. And so if anybody's watching this that I work with, good job today. Appreciate your help. Anyway, hey, who likes, who likes healthy families? And no more illnesses. Farmers do. Until tomorrow, have a good day. Peace.